Hey everyone, welcome to a new texture tutorial. In this case, I will explain you how to create animated textures. So, let's begin. First of all, we have to create our texture pack. If you already did it, you can skip this step. Even though I already explained how to create a texture pack in other videos, I will show you very fast how to. Remember, I don't expect you to memorize how to create a texture pack, so you can check my videos or the written tutorial I made. So let's create it very fast. First of all, the name of the texture pack, then assets and pack.mc meta. And that's it. Remember, on pack.mc meta, you have to write what is explained in the wiki. To know what pack format you have to use, you can enter this link. Since I will use the last version, I will use 31. Then save and you can close. Now, if we go to models, I want to change the netherite sword. We can check how is this JSON by Vanilla, checking the Vanilla Texture Pack. I already showed it how to do it. We open this with WinRAR and we check for Netherite Sword. There it is. So now we open it and this is the Vanilla Netherite Sword. We have to add the overrides using custom model data because we want to add new textures and this new texture to be animated. That means with Netherite Sword Custom Model Data 1, it will use this model that will be on Custom Sword and it will be called 1. Now let's create what we already did. Inside item, there will be a Custom Sword folder with a JSON file called 1. For you to understand, this one.json that has nothing in it yet is the model. Here we will link the animated texture. But first, let's create a model. Since we are not using 3D models, this is just a 2D texture, we will use the method already explained. As I wrote here inside this one.json, let's put this. Now we can close the page because we are not going to use it anymore. So, this is 1.json. It says it will use the texture inside item, custom textures, and this name. I don't want this. I will call it Rainbow Sword Texture. Let's save this, and now we have to create that folder. Let's go to Textures, Item, Custom Textures, and here we will have Rainbow Sword Texture. How this will work? Normally, for example, if we create a texture 16 by 16, that's it. You paint it and we are already finished. But with an animated texture, you have to create as many 16 by 16 images in vertical for every frame of the animation you want the texture to have. I will explain you. I got the netherite sword texture so I can explain you better. This texture is 16 by 16. Let's say we want three frames of the animated texture. That means the texture instead of be 16 by 16, it will be 16 by 48. Because in vertical, the animation will have three frames. So let's create it. We have to create a texture 16 by 48. To do that, you can use Photoshop, paint.net or any photographic application. I will use paint.net. It opened. So, as I said, we have to create a new texture with pixels 16 by 48. Why? Because we will have three times a 16 by 16 texture. How are we going to do it? Since the base texture is the netherite sword, I will use it here. And here I have, and I can duplicate it three times to have three frames, for example. If you would like to have more frames, you can create a larger vertical texture to have more than three frames. You can create as many frames as you want. How this will work? Minecraft will check for the first one, then go to the second one, then go to the third one. Let's add a couple of changes. I am done. 
As I said, you can create the animated texture you want. In this case, this is what I want. You have to make sure to not have a white background. So let's delete it. Now it will work properly, so let's save it. What is the name of the texture? Well, it's Rainbow Sword Texture because that is the name we wrote here. If we change it, for example, Red Line Sword, we can change this to Red Line Sword. There is no problem with that, but remember, the one.json is the model, so that is the file that search for the texture. That texture name must exist. Let's save the texture. I'm perfect. We can delete Netherite Sword. We only use it to create what we want. If we open now the texture, we will see that it has three states, three frames. Perfect. We only need one more thing. We have to tell Minecraft that this is a texture with frames. How are we going to do it? We are going to create a document with the same name than the texture. That means redlinesword.png that ends with .mc meta. Remember, the same name. If it doesn't have the .png, it will not work. So let's open this and we can copy the next text. Where did I check for this? Well, if we go to Minecraft fandom, we can check for resource pack. Here it explains everything. And between all, you can check how the animation works. For example, it has the models. There it explains what I already explained. It explains how to add sounds, etc. You can check for this. And in the part of animation, you can see it has what we wrote here. That is the frame time. You can change more things if you want. For example, here it explains what I already explained it. The name of a .mc meta must be the same. Anyways, you can check for more information there. This is what I want. Let's set it, for example, 6 and just let's save. And we are done. So let's close everything and let's test our texture pack. We are here. Let's go to resource packs and we can select the texture pack we created. Now let's give ourselves the netherite sword and we can see the vanilla texture works perfect. Nice! That means the vanilla texture works. We didn't mess up anything about the vanilla texture. Let's test the same but with the custom model data one. And we can see that it works perfect. We have the vanilla texture and the animated texture we created. It works the way as I wanted. It, it is a red line that we created. Now I would like to show you what is the value we put inside our JSON. Let's go into the texture pack inside texture and in our red line sword MC meta. We can see that we put a value of 6 in frame time. What if we put a value of 20 for example? Let's save and let's reload our texture pack. Now we will see there is so much time between each frame. That is what we are changing there. If we set a value of 20 it means each 20 ticks it will change the state of the sword and 20 ticks is one second if we put a value of one let's save and reload we will see that the texture cycles a lot much faster i like the value of six so i will set it as that let's reload and it's final now, for example, using mods or using plugins, for example, executable items, you can make this sword to burn the players and entities, just to match the fire aspect with the texture of the sword. Anyways, we already know how to create animated textures. You can do the same with tools, 
with items we can make the diamond to shine we can make a obsidian pickaxe that drops for example lava or a venom sword that has inside like a liquid remember we are commonly limited to the amount of pixels the vanilla textures have that is 16 by 16 but you can create more for example 64 by 64 to be one texture in that way you will be able to create more detail in your texture and for and for example creating an animated texture of two frames in a 64 by 64 texture at the end it will be 64 by 128 where you will be able to put a lot of detail inside that's it i hope you understood everything you now know how to create animated textures so my part just finished yours just begin if have any question feel free to ask and see you